Yep, but what's this egg doing here? Oh, it's so pretty. Maybe someone lost it. Or maybe it rolled out of its nest. Or maybe someone wants us to take care of it for them. Let's bring it inside. No, we shouldn't touch it. We're not going to hurt it, Leto. Just take care of it. Oh, it might not be safe out here. Okay, all right. Ugh, it's heavy. Oh, maybe it's a giganto baby inside. Give me a hand carrying it. <gasps> be careful not to break it. It might be better to roll it in. Nice and easy. Not too fast. Oh, this new guest can't do the secret handshake. What an egg-sighting visitor to have today. <laughs> Oh, and I could sing him a song. And I can teach it some dino facts. Uh, Roxy, what are you doing? Well, somebody's got to sit on it, like it's Mama would. But it's time for dino facts. I can watch from here. Okay, suit yourself. Or seat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> This is how all of us dinosaurs started, as eggs. But not all eggs were the same size. Some were big, some were small, some were long and skinny, and some were huge. Ah, like our friend here. Some eggs had hard shells so that a parent sitting on the egg to incubate it wouldn't crack it. Or to protect an egg that might accidentally roll away. But some dinos were just too big to sit on their eggs to help them hatch. No shell can withstand their weight. So these big dinos laid eggs with soft shells and buried them in the ground, where they would stay warm until they hatched. The shell would disintegrate and the baby would crawl out. Whoa, those babies better have a good sense of direction. And how they grew as babies depended on what kind of egg they were in. Babies who hatched from eggs above ground had their parents around to feed and take care of them. But babies who hatched underground probably had to fend for themselves when they were born. Their big parents couldn't stay around to care for them. They could have stepped on those itty bitty babies. Oh no! It's okay. Those dinos learn to take care of themselves very quickly. Well, I'm going to take care of this eggy in whatever way I can. Aw, you'll make a wonderful mother someday, Roxy. Aw, thanks. <laughs> Well, I just have one more question for you about eggs, Leto. Sure, what is it? I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> so what came first, the dinosaur or the egg? Hmm? Uh, so would you like to do a fun little tie-dye project with eggs? Oh, that looks cool. How do you do it? I'll show you. First, you'll need a few hard-boiled white eggs. So get a parent or grown-up to make some for you. And don't touch the eggs until they've cooled off completely. Other things you'll need are some paper towels, small rubber bands, a water spray bottle, and some different colored food dye. Oh, and a pair of latex gloves are a good idea, too, to keep your hands clean. Once the eggs are cool, Gently take one and put it in the middle of a paper towel. Then wrap the towel up around the egg and carefully twist the top closed tightly. Get a grown-up or older brother or sister to help you secure a rubber band around the twisted part at the top so the paper towel is nice and snug on the egg. Work on a surface that you can get dirty and line it with protective paper. You'll need your gloves for this next part. Take one of the colors of dye and squeeze one drop onto the egg through the paper towel. Then squeeze another drop on a different part of the egg. After you're done with a few drops of that color, squeeze a few drops of another color onto different places on the egg. 
do that with all your colors. Leave a little bit of room in between each drop of color if you can. After you're done with your colors, hold the egg up and spray the middle of every drop of color with a little bit of water. The colors on the paper towel will start to spread, and that's what you want. By the time you're done spraying, the whole paper towel should be covered with color. Now you have to let them dry. It's probably a good idea to wait about an hour to make sure the paper towels dry completely. Once they're dry, you can unwrap them. And look at that! You've got tie-dyed eggs! Good job! Hope you have a chance to dye some eggs of your own at home. Don't forget to send us pictures of how they come out. The colors in that egg look a little bit like the ones in our egg, don't you think? <gasps> oh, the egg! Let's go get it! really has a mind of its own. Eggy, <gasps> are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nala, you tricked us. <laughs> Good one, huh? <laughs> I thought this was a real egg with a real baby dino inside. Well, I thought what's a good way to show up at the clubhouse on a day we're talking about eggs? I figured. Why not go as it? Well, you hatched just in time to watch our music video all about dino eggs and babies. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Jai, Gan, 
Toad! That's going to have to be good enough, Pom Pom. We've got other pictures to put up. Thanks, Roxy. It's perfect. What do we have here? It's a picture of Patchy wearing his new glasses. Ah, I remember that. Everybody thought Patchy was really clumsy, but he just couldn't see well. Until Mazu made him some glasses. Then the world was crystal clear. <laughs> it's funny. Today's dino facts are about Patchy. Great. Hope Patchy's watching with his glasses on. As you might already know, Patchy is a dinosaur called a Pachycephalosaurus. Try spelling that one. Spell it? I can't even say it. The name means thick-headed lizard. This dino's head was about 10 inches thick. That's a lucky thing for Patchy, to have a built-in helmet. Yeah, you never know what's gonna fall out of the sky onto your head. The Pachycephalosaurus was bipedal, which means it walked on two legs. And danced on them, too. This dino was also a vegetarian, which means they only ate plants. Patchy doesn't only eat them, he uses them as pillows. Well, not all Pachycephalosaurus did that, only Patchy. Yep, he's one of a kind. Oh, did I miss the dino facts? Aw, yeah, sorry, Talia. I'll fill you in later. You've done a wonderful job turning the clubhouse into an art gallery. Oh, I love this one. I remember where it came from. Tiny and Marsh painted it together and displayed it in their own art show. And if I recall correctly, Giganto really liked it too. Oh, maybe Giganto could come to our art show. <laughs> <laughs> How would he fit in here? Oh, you're right. He wouldn't. We should hang some paintings outside. Oh, yes, good idea. Okay, while you do that, our friends here can help me paint a new picture for the exhibit. You just have to follow along with me. Look! It's the baby dinos! Who wants to help me finish painting them? All we have to do is follow the numbers and fill in the colors. Let's start with number one. We want the color red. What color is red? Go ahead and point to it. Oh, that's red. There's our little red Rolo. Okay, let's see. Number two is green. Pick out the color green. Yes, indeed. That's green. Baby Tori is green. Look how cute she is. Oh. Next up is number three. And that color is brown. Can you find brown for me? There it is. Brown for adorable baby Zach. And last but not least, number four is blue. What color is that? Oh, you've got it. Little Baby Mira is Little Baby Blue. And there we have it, our very own painting of the babies. Have room for one more picture here? Sure. It's beautiful. Oh. Ah. You really did a great job. Oh, it's looking like a real art museum out here. Yep, but something's missing. I know it's missing, and I've got it right here. Aha! Hi, Noah. What's in the bag? Pictures of us! Wow! One of our fans out there made them. The whole bag is full of pictures from our friends. <gasps> pictures? Of us? That's right. I guess they like us as much as we like Gigantosaurus. We're gonna be in our own art show. Yippee! 
Yay! <laughs> All right. Let's put these pictures up. Want to watch this video while we hang up your pictures? Be back soon. Woohoo! With a splash of pink and a stump of green. We're going to make a painting. With a splash of pink and a stump of green. It's going to be amazing. 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 With a splash of pink and a stump of green. my charisma in this picture. Thanks so much for joining us today and for sending in this artwork. We love it. Keep it coming. And see you soon. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Will today be the day? Who knows? I didn't miss anything. Did I? No, no butterflies yet. Oh. I wish they'd hurry up and come out of their cocoons. <laughs> Patience, little sister. You took a long time to be born, too. I did? Yup, I thought your egg would never hatch. Good things are worth the wait. <laughs> well, what do you say I share some dino facts with you while we're waiting? <laughs> Insects have been around for hundreds of millions of years, even before us dinosaurs got here. There were dragonflies, bees, grasshoppers, and our favorite, butterflies. What about spiders? Well, spiders aren't technically insects. They're arthropods. But yep, they were around too. And they were all much bigger than they are now. Hey, Leto, how do you know when a bug is big? How? When you can ride on its back. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Take the Arthropleura, for example. They could grow to 10 feet long. That's big enough to give a couple of dinos a ride. 
these critters could grow so big because there was more oxygen in the air. Speaking of growing, let's go check again to see if our butterflies have outgrown their cocoons. Oh, come on, come on. What's taking you so long? Pom Pom, it's not a race. I know. But if you want a race, I've got one for you. I call it the Buggy Boogie. Let's see which bug gets to the flower first. The dragonfly, the grasshopper, or the arthropleura. But I'm gonna need your help to get them there. You have to run, fly, and hop to get the bugs to the finish line. Ready? Come on, let's run like an arthropleura. Get those little legs moving! Very good! Now let's fly like a dragonfly. Really flap those arms, like this. But what about the grasshopper? Let's get hopping too. That's it! Awesome! Jump as high as you can! Look at that grasshopper go too! And the grasshopper wins! <laughs> Who knew being an insect could make you so tired? <laughs> You'd make a great bug, Pom Pom. Oh, thanks. Did all that exercise inspire our soon-to-be butterflies? Huh? Uh, nope. Maybe a song would help them come out of their cocoons. That's a great idea! And I've got just a song for them. Wiggle Worm! Oh, 
That's wonderful. Welcome to the Giganto Club, butterflies. <laughs> Glad you got to see this with us. Come back soon, little dinos. <laughs> Where's Noah? He's gonna miss my dino facts. I'm right here! Oh, hey! How'd you sneak in here? It's magic! Hi, Noah! Hi, everybody! Are you ready for my magic show? Oh, but first, we gotta do our secret handshake. Shy can <laughs> And then we've got to do our dino facts. But my magic act! We can watch your show after. I've got the dino facts all ready to go. Okay. Thanks. Okay, everybody. Today's dino facts are about a most unusual dinosaur. The Incisivosaurus. A dino with its own very distinct look. With its big front teeth, the Incisivosaurus looked a bit like a rodent, while its feathers sort of remind you of a bird. Don't let the feathers fool you. This is one feathered friend who couldn't fly. But maybe Missy could teach me some dance moves. This dinosaur evolved from the raptor family, but most likely only ate plants. Yep, Missy's more into berries than boats. And magic tricks. She's really good at those. <clears throat> And speaking of magic, can I show you my magic trick now? Yes, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you see this. I'm going to make a butterfly appear out of my hat. Ha <laughs> ha. <gasps> my hat was right here. Where is it? Uh-oh. It looks like you're gonna have to make a magic hat appear before you can make the butterfly appear. This is terrible! Oh, where did it go? Uh, is this part of his magic act? Beats me. Well, while we're waiting for Noah to pull a butterfly out of a hat, why don't we put a butterfly in one? What? How? In my game. Okay, we're going to put this cute little butterfly in one of these hats. Then we're going to mix the hats up and see if you can find which hat has the butterfly. Ready? Here we go! Round and round go the hats. Make sure you follow the hat with the butterfly. So where's the butterfly? Under hat number one? Hat number two? Or hat number three. If you said hat number three, you're right. Want to play again? Keep your eye on the hat with the butterfly. Where is she going to end up this time? OK, where's the butterfly this time? Are you sure? I think it's under hat number two. Oops, I was wrong. There's our butterfly under hat number one. You tricked me that time, butterfly. Thanks for playing with us, butterfly. <laughs> that was a fun game, Roxy. <laughs> Thanks. No, oh, look, here comes Noah. Couldn't find your hat? No. Oh, that's too bad, Noah. We were really looking forward to seeing your magic trick. Oh, and I really wanted to show you. I know you're feeling sad right now, Noah. Maybe a song could cheer you up. Aw, hmm. uh, I don't know. It's the Wabu Wabu. Oh, yeah. I really do like that song. <laughs> then let's try it. Yeah!
together. Like big dinosaurs! Pom-Pom, that song did make me feel better. <laughs> Whoa! Huh? Whoa! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> and ta-da! Noah, <laughs> is that your hat? It is. Oh, wow! That was the greatest magic trick I've ever seen! Whoa! <laughs> How did you do it? Well. You know, magicians never give away their secrets. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. I have to give all the credit to the butterfly. <laughs> Yay, butterfly! Bravo! Awesome! Woohoo! Yeah! Hope you enjoyed the show. See you soon! See you next See time! You soon. Huh? Oh, here are my friends coming to wish me a... Sorry, but I was just leaving. Maybe I'll see you later. But... but have you guys forgotten something? Have we? Something important? Hmm, let me think. Something very, very important? Oh, yes, <laughs> of course. We forgot to do our secret handshake. Aww. Are you ready? Yes. Jai, Dan, Tom! That's more like it. What should we do today? I know something fun. Hang on, I gotta answer my Coco phone. Hello? Oh, hey! What's that? Sure, I'll be right over. Sorry, guys, I have to run out and help a friend with something. See you later. But you can't go. What about... Oh, you're right. I totally <laughs> forgot our dino fact. Huh? Um, why don't you do it for me, Pom Pom? Me? Sure. You've always said you wanted to host a dino fact. I'm sure you'll be great at it. Everything you need is over by the projector. See you soon. Aw, but it's my special day. It certainly is. It's not every day you get to do the dino fact. <laughs> hey, psst, come here. We have a secret to tell you. Of course we know it's Pom Pom's birthday. We're just letting her think we forgot because we need time to get a big surprise ready for her. So don't give it away, okay? Shh. Okay, Lito left me some notes. I hope I do a good job. I'm sure you will do great. Tell me, 
What dinosaur will you talk about today, Pom Pom? Well, I'm not going to talk about any dinosaur. What? You're not going to do the dino facts? No, I am. But today's facts are about a different kind of animal. Oh, it's Rugo. That's right. Rugo is a mammal. And it says here that mammals are different from dinosaurs because they're furry, they don't lay eggs, and they give milk to their babies. Oh, I thought mammals came much later than dinosaurs. Nope. It looks like there were a few types of mammals around at the same time as the dinosaurs. Like these rugosidons. The rugosidon looked like a rat or a small squirrel. They were omnivores, meaning they ate lots of different foods. Good thing Rugo has big cheeks to hold it all. Rugosidons lived in burrows, where they had lots and lots of babies at one time. That's certainly a lot of mouths to feed. Maybe that's why they ate all kinds of foods. Including maybe birthday cake? <laughs> Who knows about that? Anyway, good job, Pom Pom. You're a wonderful host. Thanks, Noah. I have to admit, that was really fun. But, um, do you think you maybe, uh, you know, forgot something today? Well, it's possible. I forget a lot of things. Mm, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to do my sport. <laughs> oh, what? No. Oh, yes. Every day I have to exercise. <laughs> uh, would you mind showing everyone today's do-it-yourself project? I think you'll all really like it. <laughs> I don't have much choice, do I? <sighs> oh, well, I'm glad you're still here. I guess we can find out how to make dinosaur bookends together. We're gonna need two rocks that are smooth and flat on top, two dino toys, some paint, and some really strong glue. We'll have to be careful with that. You start by painting the rocks whatever color you want. Maybe you wanna match the color of your toy dinosaur, or do something totally different with lots of colors or polka dots. After the paint dries, ask a grown-up to put some glue on the top of each rock. Then you set your toy dino in the glue, one on each rock. That's why your rocks have to be flat, so the dino can stand without falling over. Make sure it's a dino you don't want to play with anymore, because he's getting a new job now. When the glue has dried, You've got yourself some dino bookends. What a cool looking decoration. And so useful. I wish I had a pair of those for my bookshelf at home. I can't believe my sister and my friends forgot my birthday. I guess I'll just host the song now and call it a day. Aw, I'm feeling sad, but I have the perfect song to share with you. Here it is, the Wabu Wabu.
forgot about my birthday. I got to spend it with you. <laughs> hey! Oh. <laughs> we didn't forget you. Oh, really? Of course not. How could I ever forget the day my little sister was born? It was the happiest <laughs> day of my life. <laughs> we just pretended to forget so we could plan a big surprise for you. So you didn't go work out? Nope. While you were showing everyone how to make some dino bookends, I made a pair for you. What a great birthday present! Oh! And I left because I thought you would really enjoy doing the dino facts today. <laughs> I sure did! So I went and helped Roxy with her amazing present! Oh! Oh, 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 where is it? Where is it? Come on! You have to come outside! But that's not all! Look! Wow. Wow. Thank you guys so much! Thank you! This was the best birthday surprise ever! Well, all our friends out there helped us keep the secret! <gasps> you did? Thank you! You helped make this a really special day for me! I'll never forget it. So long, little dinos. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you soon. We'll see you later.